Welcome friends, this is Shweta Shah and let us understand SEO. So let's go through the overview of SEO. So what is SEO? These are paid ads. Here you can see when you search something on Google, first three are paid ads. And this is a SEO result. The All the website which come below the ads, below first three ads, those are organic results. Those are those have come on the first page on this place with the help of organic result means they have done their advertisement and they have made their website in such a way that customers are coming on their website the traffic on their website is high and their website result website report strategic statistic everything is perfect so let's understand this part how to bring your website on the first page in search engine which is in google but first what i suggest is focus on roi return on investment do seo after 2 to 3 years when people know something about your company seo costing goes from 15000 to 1 lakh rupees and above do seo when you have surplus fund if you don't have surplus fund then focus on google ads paid ads Google Ads, Facebook Ads, social media ads, everything. But if you have surplus fund, then you can go for SEO because in SEO every month you will keep on spending 15 to 30,000 to 50,000 every month, but results are not for sure. Okay. And when you give order of doing SEO to anyone, when you hire someone, outsource your SEO work to any digital marketer, first ask him whether for which website they have already done SEO and have bought result okay as if now focus on run ad campaign and take revenue like what we do for our company is every month I keep 50,000 of budget to bring to do ad campaigns paid ad campaigns then organic ad campaigns first Facebook wasn't there so people used to search product on Google but now product is coming to people so SEO is not do, doing SEO is not that compulsory okay now SEO tips let me give you an example okay this is my client Profiteers and I have done SEO for this client so I'll close this website okay so first the user goes on Google now when you do SEO friends you need to select keywords few keywords and those keywords should be the language which your customer speaks now the language which your customer speaks those keywords are already high in competition and the other other website have already taken those keywords so if you compete with the same keywords then to bring your website on first page it will take years or it may take many many months and result is not guaranteed it may come on first page after few months it may not come depends on your SEO to whom you have outsourced your product SEO work okay so on Google normally while doing SEO select a keyword what is your USP so my client's USP is he does mind mapping style he teaches stock market so if someone types this and search so see this is not paid ad this is a SEO result organic result so that's my client's website profiteers.in so if anybody clicks here they will come on my client's website yeah so this is the power of SEO if it is done in proper way then even your website come, can come on the first page and it's at the first place. Yani ye hadi ho gaye. This is wow result. Okay, now let's understand how to come on first page. So we'll go through some tips. 
of SEO use one website for one product or for one purpose. Find the keywords from Google attributes in your site. Use Google Keyword Planner tool in Google AdWords account. Use long tail keywords like digital marketing course in India, like stock market course in Mumbai. I've used for my client Profiteers for this company. Then get keyword ideas from customers. As I told you, speak customers language for keywords. Keywords you'll also get idea from Google Keyword, Google AdWords. You have to go in Keyword Planner and take all the keywords and put inside your website. Okay. Then title tag, meta description, h1 tag, all tags. Use this kind of keywords which are used frequently by your customers to search on Google. Reach out to bloggers in your field. Ask them to write a review. Bloggers means we have just covered in last session. This is blog. You should be consistent in blogging means giving your information out each and every day. So over here in blogging also you can use the keywords which your customer frequently use and which you will get from Google Keyword Planner as well. Okay, so reach out the blogger or even you can blog. Ask them to write a review. You can hire a professional blo uh, blogger and he can write review for you consistently. Image name. Normally people use pick one, pick two, this is image three. Give the name of your product. Whatever your keyword is, my keyword is digital marketing course. So, so in this scenario, for example, this is home page. For them, the keyword is stock market in Mumbai. So the name of the image in admin I have saved as stock market in Mumbai. Mind mapping stock market. Mind mapping stock market. This is the name I give to each and every image I have used for their website. Instead of putting pick one, pick two, give the name which is a keyword of your this thing. Post on Google Plus. Be active on all social media platforms. Create a company blog and update it regularly. You have to be consistent people. Consistent for every month, for years. Tab jake, you will get result after few months. Okay. So now, advert.google.com. From here, you will get keyword planner. So from there, you can go to tools and then keyword planner. Fill the keyword detail and get click on get idea. This all we have already, already uh, we have covered in Google AdWord session. So you can see that video from there. So first, Google AdWord.google.com. Then you can select tools and then go to keyword planner. Then write the keyword like stock market training, for example. And then below that you will find a tab, get idea. So you have to click on that tab. So you will get all relative keywords, all ideas, what your customers are using more. And you can use those all keywords in your website for your images, for description, everything. Especially this all things you, over here you can use your keywords. Here you can use keywords. Every way in website you can use keywords in description. This is called headings, subheadings everywhere. Okay, so we also got idea from where to bring keywords which is highly in demand. So this keyword you may use in your website heading everywhere. Great. Now, uh, once you are done with your website, once your website is complete, completely developed. Then you can do Google Analytics tracking and auditing. What do you mean by tracking? Tracking means who comes on your website, which age group people come on your website, how much time they are on your website, on which page they have visited. That's called tracking and auditing. So to track this, you need to log in to Google Analytics account, then go to admin, then properties, create new property. These are the steps you can follow. Add property means 
you have, you need to click on add property and write your website name www.profiteers.in then details and get tracking id then property setting get the tracking id copy the entire tracking code paste it in your website this is html coding so before this coding you need to paste the tracking code on the page you want to track normally put this tracking code code in each and every page you can also paste it in the head means in all pages to track entire website verify on website by pressing control u this is how you can verify on google analytics so let's say it live okay so first you need to go on google analytics.google.com then you need to log in into google analytics so you land on this page okay so from here first we need to go to go to admin go to admin then go to property this is property property then create a new property so create a new property add property website detail and get tracking id so here we need to write website then it is into finance select your industry category time zone if you are from india then select india this account has two properties so kindly ignore this get tracking id this i am doing for educational purpose okay so this is the tracking id this is a tracking code which you need to copy and paste into your website before this code and in each and every pages of your website paste this code before this html formula then once you are done on website you may click control plus u and then you can verify on google analytics so here once you put on your website all tracking ids okay tracking codes and then you run a campaign and then you do a organic uh, advertisement and everything so then if you want to see what's happening in your website you need to come on report thing and then here you will see now it is straight line because we have just opened the account so after you do organic search this will be like this so you will get to know okay, okay on this to this date how many people came and everything in detail so how many sessions how many users are there how many normal page views have become have are there what is the bounce rate average session duration how much time people are there on your website page sessions new sessions demographic means country wise who are coming on your website city wise who are visiting your website so this all details you will get in this tab so this concludes our session on how to do a successful seo tips so that even your website can come on the first page and from where you need to take the keywords and then how to insert tracking and how to do auditing so this